Uh, so radial head, what we're going to do is we're going to screen. I'm going to show you both ways to screen. So if you're doing the long lever screen, I have her elbows at 90 degrees. And I'm going to try to supinate and pronate. And she really doesn't like pronation as well. And her thumbs are over the distal aspect of the radial head, yes. not on the wrist itself. I always keep my thumbs on the radius because that way you're transmitting the force through the bone that you're trying to manipulate. But we're going to be doing a short head uh, testing, which I typically like to do when I'm doing HVLA because I have to get on the radial head anyway. So I'm going to find her radial head. Notice joint space, just skin and ligaments and tendons come down a little bit, roughly two fingers, and we get to the radial head. And so I'm going to turn her wrist over into pronation. It seems like it comes back and then come into supination. It seems like it comes forward. So then we would check the other side and compare it. So once again, two finger widths come down and get the radial head. And we're going to pronate. So I can feel it kind of coming back. And when we say that it's moving forward and back, you got to remember the radial head kind of glides and rolls. So it's more of a rolling motion that you can feel it coming forward and back, well, back and forward. So, and it seems like she really just doesn't like the pronation. So I would assume that she likely has an anterior radial head. So if I'm going to treat that, I'm going to bring her, keep her flexed, and then I'm going to go until I feel the radial head coming back about right here. Then I'm going to you know, get my hand directly over that radial head. I'm going to bring her up and applying that traction. And you felt it pop, didn't you? I did. <laughs> so um, the big thing here is just maintaining that traction down. This isn't actually a thrust. The thrust is coming through the arm. But I keep the traction and actually apply more traction when I'm doing the thrust just to make sure I don't lose that radial head. So let's say if we've fixed her a little too well and now she doesn't like supination. Go fix it again. So this is the one I like to kind of sit down next to the patient if I'm if they're seated. I'm gonna find that radial head again. I'm gonna put my thumb right at the posterior aspect of the radial head. And the reason for this is my thumb is going to be the be all end all barrier for this. And I've got her just as she's coming into supination. So that radial head's just now moving into here. Take a deep breath in, let it all the way out, and then just a quick little, quick little thrust. It's not a big motion. It's not me trying to take her arm and torque it like it's some kind of, I don't know, lever that I'm trying to pull to open a door or something. It's um, just a quick little motion, and most of it is where that thumb is applying all of that force.